Welcome back, consumers, to Amateur Consumption. I'm Isaac. And I'm Mary. This week on Cheap versus Expensive Wine, we're doing two Chardonnays. The first Chardonnay that is the cheaper one is from Trader Joe's by Charles Shaw. It is nicknamed Two Buck Chuck, as some of you might know. So that bottle we got for $2.99. So the more expensive side is from Robert Mondavi and that's about a $15 bottle can be found at any local grocery store. So we'll see if we can tell the difference and let you know which one we like more. So to ensure that we don't know which one's which, we will pour for each other. The album of the week being Ed Sheeran's Divide. Let's drink. I'm gonna start with this one. I sense flavors like green apple and pear um, in this one. Um, it's very soft, very easy to drink. It doesn't um, seem to me like it's very buttery. Seems like it has um, been uh, aged in steel. I'm gonna move to this one. So similar. These are so similar. It's gonna be hard. Again, those same green apple, the same pear flavors, clearly um, aged in steel, no oak, there's no buttery, it's not heavy, it's very crisp and light, almost even like Sauvignon Blanc, which is odd, but good, I guess. Um, I don't know if I can tell the difference, and I've been, I was worried about this week. So at this point, before I even guess, I'm just gonna be buying two buck Chuck Chardonnay if I want it to taste like this from now on. This one seems to fall a little bit flat. And this one's a little bit, uh, the, the flavors carry a little bit stronger. So I'm gonna guess that um, this one is the Robert Mondavi and this one is the Tubac Chuck. All done? Yeah, all done. Ready? Start with this one. It's all swirl. Um, looks pretty straw colored. I smell, I think I smell a little bit of oak. It's pretty good. I don't taste a ton of variables coming through. Maybe a little bit of that butteriness that you can get from oak. It's a little acidic, like pineapple, but not much. For taste, I'm gonna give this one a four. I think it's pretty good. So I'll go to the stemless. Swirl it. Um, also pretty straw colored. Not much to see there. So I'll smell. Oh, that one has a much different smell. Um, this one, I smell more minerality. I smell fruit, but I also smell some flowery smells. Taste. Tastes okay. I'm not getting a ton of distinctive flavor from it. I think I get a little bit of like honeysuckle flavor in this one. For a taste, I'm gonna give this one three corks. It's okay, uh, but I don't like it as much as the other one. So I'm gonna go with the cheaper one, the two buck truck being the stem glass, even though I rated it higher, and I'm gonna go with the uh, Robert Mondavi being the stemless glass. Some of you who are astute may notice Mary's glasses have wine, but that's because I forgot to rate for taste. And so I'm gonna rate them both um, at a four cork, because I think that's right where I like to drink um, this kind of wine, this white wine. Um, not buttery, not heavy, so they're gonna both be a four for me. So now we can tell each other which one was which. I poured the Robert Mondavi into Isaac's stemless glass and the Two Buck Chuck into the stemmed glass. Oh, I got wrecked this week. Um, I poured the Two Buck Chuck into the stemless and the Robert Mondavi into the stemmed. So I also guessed wrong this week. <laughs> now we'll save her together. So now it's time to rate the wines. Uh, for the Robert Mondavi, we had a general consensus. 
Uh, cost, we rated it a four cork, uh, it being at that $15 level. Um, for taste, we both rated it a four cork. Um, we both thought it was good. Um, for availability, um, it's just about everywhere. It's a pretty largely produced wine, so we rated that a five cork. And approachability, um, people know the Robert Mondavi name. Uh, that thing, the label says Chardonnay, that's approachable, so we rated that a five as well. So averaged out, that comes to your 4.5 total uh, cork rating. For, for the two buck chuck ratings, we had a discrepancy around taste. I rated it three corks, Isaac rated it four corks. So we'll have two separate ratings overall. But then for cost, it definitely comes out to five corks with it being two ninety nine. Mm-hmm. Um, availability, it's at every Trader Joe's. So once again, five corks. And approachability, it's a California Chardonnay. And with the price being so low, we think it's very approachable. And so we're gonna give that five corks as well. So my total cork rating comes out to a 4.5 for this wine. And Isaac's comes out to a 4.75 for this one. So overall, these wines were pretty close, and uh, it'd be a good idea to give either one a shot. But you can probably go with this one. Because there's no clear winner. <laughs> $2.99. Thanks for watching Amateur Consumption. Thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you loved it, and we'll see you on Wednesday. Drink more wine. <laughs>